Hello everyone, welcome to this week's collective worship. Now last week we were talking about a saying that Jesus said in the Bible, I am the way, the truth and the life. And this week we are going to find out about something else that Jesus said and it's about fruit. So I wonder what is your favourite fruit? Why don't you turn to someone near to you and tell them what your favourite fruit is? Okay, great. We are going to play a game now and I am going to describe a fruit to you and you have to guess what fruit it is. So we're going to start with a really easy one. This fruit is yellow and it's bendy and you peel it. What fruit do you think that could be? A banana, well done. Okay, second fruit. This fruit is big and round and it comes in loads of different varieties, including honeydew, water and cantaloupe. What fruit could that be? It was a melon. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, fruit number three. This fruit is unusual because you might have it on a pizza, usually with ham. What do you think that fruit could be? Pineapple. Very good if you got that one. Well done. Okay, next fruit. This fruit is yellow. You might have it in a cake or squeeze it on your pancakes. What do you think? Lemon. Well done if you got lemon. Good job. Okay, fruit number five. This fruit is also the name of a colour and it is the flavour of marmalade that Paddington eats. What do you think? Orange. Well done if you got orange. Okay, last one. This fruit comes in bunches and is the fruit that wine is made out of. Grapes. Well done. Good job. And grapes is where we are going to start our talk today. I wonder, do you know where grapes grow? They grow on a vine in a vineyard. So I want you to imagine that these grapes are growing and they are growing well and they're looking really good. But what would happen if we took the grapes that were growing and we cut them off the vine? Would they keep on growing? No, they would stop growing because they need to be connected to the vine to be able to get big and juicy. And one of the things that Jesus said about himself was, I am the vine. Now that seems like a very strange thing to say, doesn't it? But Jesus said to his disciples, I am the vine and you are the branches. What Jesus meant by this was that his disciples needed to stay connected to him so that they could live their lives as God wanted them to. And Jesus told them if they stayed connected to him, they would grow fruit. Now, does that mean that apples would start growing out of their heads or pineapples out of their armpits? No, of course not. Jesus meant that if the disciples followed him, they would start to see the fruits of the Spirit growing in their lives. Now, I wonder, do any of you know what the fruits of the Spirit are? The fruits of the Spirit are parts of someone's character, good things that we see in someone's life when they are living how God wants them to. And there are nine fruits of the Spirit. And they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, 
and self-control. Now that is quite a long list of things to remember, isn't it? And someone once taught me a way to help me to remember those fruits of the Spirit. So I'm going to teach that to you now to help you to remember. And what it involves is knowing the first letters of each of the fruits of the Spirit in order. So we're going to do the first five, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. So I'm going to say the first five letters of those words and then you're going to join in. Okay, so it goes L-J-P-P-K. Your turn. L-J-P-P-K. Again, L-J-P-P-K. L-J-P-P-K. One more time. L-J-P-P-K. L-J-P-P-K. Okay, great. Hopefully you've got that. And then we're going to do the last four. So goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So this one goes G-F-G-S. You do that one. G-F-G-S. One more time. G-F-G-S. And then we put them all together and we go L-J-P-P-K-G-F-G-S. Can you do that? L-J-P-P-K-G-F-G-S. Great. So hopefully that will help you to remember the fruits of the Spirit. So when we stay connected to Jesus, the vine, we grow just like the branches and the grapes grow when they are connected to the vine. And we grow in the fruits of the Spirit, the LJ, PPK, G, F, G, S. And Jesus helps us to keep growing more like him. Now, I wonder, which of those fruits would you like to see more of in your life? Maybe you feel like you'd like to be more loving or perhaps you think you should be a bit more patient or maybe you think you should be kinder to others. Have a think about which of those nine things, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Which one would you like to see more of in your life? Now, I would like you to close your eyes for a moment and think about these things. What would our homes look like if people were displaying all these fruits? What would our school look like if people were displaying all these fruits? What would our community and our world look like if people were displaying all these fruits? Let's finish with a prayer and you can join in by saying Amen at the end if you want to. Dear God, help us to stay connected to you and to show your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control in our lives. We pray for our homes, our school, our community and our world, that we would see your fruit there too. Amen. Well, it was great to be with you for Collective Worship once again, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!